Hello guys, this is Avinash and you're watching Everything Metallurgy. Friends, with the last lecture we have completed iron making. Now we'll see the numerical part that is the material balance in iron making or material balance in blast furnace. We'll see the different numericals and how to solve these. Okay. So generally what is this material balance? Material balance is nothing but equating the masses. Material balance is also called as mass balance. That means balancing the mass from the input and the output. If some material is coming as an input, it should be in some other form in output. So the mass of that component or that raw material or that constituent must be the same in both input as well as output this is what we'll do in the whole material balance thing okay so for example in blast furnace if i want to uh, do this mass balance for iron that is nothing but i am doing fe balance what is this fe balance fe balance is nothing but what are the fe that is coming from input that is nothing but fe in the iron ore is there any other iron bearing materials in the input no so this is the input and what else it is converting into it is converting into iron in hot metal plus if there is any feo forming feo in slag these two are the output so the input must be equal to output this is nothing but the iron balance or this is what we'll do in all the cases whereas if you want to calculate the weights calculate the weight of ore or calculate the weight of slag or with this we can also calculate the top gases the volume of the top gas so with an example i'll be explaining how to calculate this so in this video, we will take an example of a question from the year 2007. Okay. So this question which I am going to discuss in this video is asked in date 2007. Okay. So always remember, we are assuming generally that the calculations are done on basis of 1000 kg of hot metal. Okay. That means this is fixed. Generally, all these mass balance calculations are done on the basis of 1000 kg of hot metal or per 1 ton. This 1000 kg is nothing but 1 ton of hot metal. Okay. So, now we will see the question. Okay. We will explain. I will explain how to do and what to do with the help of this example. Okay, so you can see the question on the screen now. It says a blast furnace makes a pig iron containing 3.6% carbon, 1.4% silicon, 95% Fe. The ore is 80% Fe2O3, 12% SiO2, and 8% L2O3. That means here in the first two sentences they explained the composition of the final pig iron or the hot metal which we call and also the composition of the ore the coke rate is 1 kg of coke per 1 kg of pig iron that means to produce 1000 kg of pig iron 1000 kg of coke is used that is known as coke rate and it contains 90% carbon and 10% SiO2 this is the composition of coke the flux rate is 0 0.4 kg per kg of pig iron that means for 1 kg of hot metal production, 0 0.4 kg of flux is used and it is uh, it is pure CaCO3 that means 100% CaCO3 only. The blast furnace gas contains 28% CO and 12% CO2. This we will discuss while doing the problem. Assume that there is no iron loss through the slag that means the iron is not there in the slag in the form of Fe2O3 or FeO. The atomic weights are given. 
though now they asked to calculate the weight of ore used the weight of slag and the volume of blast furnace gas okay so first we'll write the given data okay data is given firstly hot metal hot metal composition will write 95% fe 1.4% silica and 3.6% carbon this is hot metal next iron ore iron ore composition is 80% fe2o3 12% sio2 and 8% al2o3 similarly coke we you know 1 kg coke rate is 1 kg per kg of hot metal and flux 0.4 kg per kg of hot metal okay this is pure cso3 and this is 90% carbon and 10% sio2 okay so this is the given data the first two questions can be solved using this data so now we will see the first one what did what is the first question the first question is the weight of iron ore used per ton of pig iron is what is the weight of iron ore used per ton of pig iron i already explained that generally it is assumed to be 1 ton only so per 1 ton what is the weight of ore used for that we'll be using iron balance okay why we are doing iron balance because here we are as i already discussed the input of iron is over itself so here how to do this iron balance iron balance is nothing but fe in ore and there is no other input and in the output there is fe in hot metal plus slag but they said to assume that there is no weight loss into the slag so i assume that there is x kg of hot metal so now i am assuming the weight of iron ore to be x kg okay weight of iron ore is x kg now is the complete iron ore consists of 100% fe no how much is the percentage of fe it is given there is only 80% of fe2o3 present in the ore so out of x kg of iron ore there is only 0.8 into x kg of fe2o3 correct that means this is nothing but the percentage of weight that is present in the ore percentage of weight of fe2o3 present in the total x kg of iron ore okay we excluded the impurities other sio2 and al2o3 we have excluded now this 0.8 into x is the weight of fe2o3 but we require we are doing iron balance here yes in iron balance we require the amount of iron present not fe2o3 so if you see fe2o3 you can easily use the weight fractions to calculate what is the amount of fe present in fe2o3 how simply take the atomic weights ratio that means the ratio of atomic weight of fe present to the total weight of fe2o3 that means 2 into 56 there are two irons so 2 into 56 by 2 into 56 plus 3 into 16 this is the total weight of fe2o3 so this is equal to 112 by 160 okay so this is the fraction this is the fraction of iron that is present in the fe2o3 so simply multiply by this fraction so now this is the amount of weight present 
amount of iron fe only fe present which is fe balance in x kg of ore okay once again i am repeating we assume that x is the weight of ore used in that there is only 0.8 times or 80 percent of fe203 so this is x into 0.8 is the weight of fe203 and in that also by multiplying this fraction we calculated the amount of iron present in fe203 fine this is the input in the output what is the output we, we know that 1000 kg of hot metal is fixed and also in the question also they said that per ton of pig iron so there is 1000 kg of hot metal into what is the percentage there is not 100 percent of iron present there is only 95 percent of iron present that is 95 by 100 or 0.95 so this much is the amount of iron or weight of iron present in the output and slag we know zero because in the question they said that to assume that there is no iron loss okay so simply calculate x from this equation this is 950 Yeah, so from this you will be getting how much you will be getting here? You will be getting the answer to be around 1.7 ton or 1700 kg. Okay, so the weight of ore used to produce 1000 kg of hot metal is X, and that X is coming as 1700 kg or 1.7 ton. So this is how you need to calculate the weight of ore used. That means whenever they ask to calculate the weight of ore, you must simply do the iron balance, put, the, put in all these equations by taking these weight fractions at all and simply calculate the unknown value x. Okay, so this is how we will be doing the calculation for weight of ore used. Fine, so this is about iron balance. Now. The second question, we'll move on to the second question. The second question they asked to calculate the weight of slag. Definitely we know the input materials or the impurities are going into slag in the form of oxides. Yes, we have discussed all these things in the theory part. So now we have to calculate the weight of that slag generated or produced. So here what are the you must always see what are the constituents of the slag first what are the composition i mean what are the different oxides that are present in the slag so this weight of slag will be equal to addition of all those oxides that means first of all in the question you know there is sio2 so weight of sio2 similarly there is cao coming from the flux and there is Al2O3 because Al2O3 is present in the composition. If there are any other oxides like MgO or MnO, you must also include them into this slag only. Okay, so for this you have to do the SaO2 balance, CaO balance and Al2O3 balance. Okay, so we'll do all these three now. So the first one is SaO2 balance. SiO2 balance wherever we have Si in the input and wherever we have SiO2 in output. So input we have ore and we have also coke. Whereas in output we have slag and also there is some amount of some percentage of Si present in the hot metal. So you have to consider this silicon also which will be converted into SiO2 so here also we will be using the weight fraction only so now we will see how to do this so what is the weight of ore used 1700 into 1700 kg into what is the composition that is 12 percent of SiO2 is present that is 0.12 this is the weight of SiO2 present in the ore similarly in coke how much is the coke rate 
coke rate is 1 kg per kg of hot metal that means for 1000 kg of hot metal we, we use 1000 kg of coke 1000 into how much is the composition it is 10 percent that is 0 0.1 this is the input part equal to this lag we have to calculate yes so sio2 in slag this we have to calculate plus what else is left this hot metal what is this hot metal what okay first of all we'll take the weight we know 1000 kg of hot metal is there in two now how much is the sio2 formed from the sa present that you have to calculate okay so you know in 1000 kg how much how much is the percentage of si present mm, i think it is 1.4 that means into 0 0.014 i'll write it again <coughs> plus 1000 kg into 0 0.014 into now you know sio2 okay so from si this sio2 is forming okay so here simply you have to see whatever is the weight fraction it used to be forming that means here 28 grams of sio2 this is the atomic weight of sio2 produces 60 grams of sio2 okay 28 grams of si is producing 60 grams of sio2 now to calculate this much amount of si what is the for example for x kg of si what is the y so y will be equal to 60 sorry yeah so this will be y 60 times the x by 28 that means this 60 by 28 is nothing but the weight fraction okay for, for x kg of si we require this much amount of i mean or this x kg is producing this y this y is nothing but 60 by 28 into x okay so what is this x here x is nothing but this part whatever is the weight of si used so into 60 by 28 so 60 by 28 is the weight fraction that is used here okay so on calculating this you will get the sio2 in slag to be how much you will be getting as 274 kg please do the calculations i am not explaining the calculations here but you will be getting 274 kg okay so the first part is done this is 274 plus now we'll do the cao the second one is cao balance okay what is this cao balance same thing the input what is the input i said cao coming from the limestone limestone or cso3 will be equal to cao in slag there is no other constituent okay whatever is the cao produced from the limestone the same will go into the slag fine so here also the same thing we did uh, what is the weight of uh, limestone 0 0.4 times or 0 0.4 is the flux rate they said so 0 0.4 into 1000 kg of hot metal so this is the amount of limestone used okay and what is the composition of limestone it is 100 percent of caco3 so it is fine and what will be the uh, ratio it will be 56 the weight of cao by the weight of limestone the same thing the same way how we did for iron this cocco3 will dissociate into cao plus co2 fine so from this uh, just see here one mole of this produces one mole of this that means 100 mole is producing 56 or 100 grams is producing 56 gram this much of x grams will produce how much 
that will be equal to 56 by 100 into this x so this x is this much and this is the weight fraction is 56 by 100 okay so this is the same for all the weight fractions i think you understood the weight fraction term and this is co in slag so this will be equal to 224 kg so this is 224 and the last one is al2 al2o3 i think al2o3 is easy because there is no reaction that is forming or dissociating al2o3 so al2o3 balance so here same thing l2o3 balance is nothing but the input wherever it is coming it is from the ore okay if you observe the input is over itself and the output is lag so what is this will this will be equal to 1700 into what is the percentage of l2o3 present in the ore it is 8 percent yes so 0 0.08 so it is simple you are getting 136 kg so this is 136 so now the weight of slag will be equal to the addition of all these three stuff so the weight of slag will be equal to 274 plus 224 plus 136 this will be coming as 634 kg okay so this is the amount of weight or amount of slag produced for 1000 kg of hot metal okay this is how you do or to calculate the weight of slag now we will go into the last and important one and also somewhat complicated that is the volume of bf gas they asked to calculate the volume of bf gas so how to start this in the question if you see they gave that the blast furnace gas contains how much 28 percent of co and 12 percent of co2 that means from here you can calculate the ratio of the volume of these things that means co by co2 you can calculate as 28 by 12 that is nothing but uh, 7 by 3 7 by 3 is the ratio just leave it aside now what is the composition of blast furnace gas we have discussed the composition of blast furnace gas is CO plus CO2 plus N2 from where is the CO and CO2 coming it is coming from the carbon that is present in the inputs so you have to do the carbon balance first to calculate the weight of carbon present in terms of these outputs fine so how to do that what is the input we, we know that the coke combust to form the co and co2 yes the coke coming from the the carbon coming from the coke is reacting with the hot blast or oxygen and converting into the co and co2 okay so what is the coke we know 1000 kg and what is the percentage of carbon 90 so this is the yeah this is the input of the ore what is the output if you observe the composition of hot metal there is some carbon there yeah how much is there it is about 3.6 percentage 3.6 by 100 this is the amount of carbon present in the hot metal and the rest will go into the blast furnace gas so from this you can calculate the carbon present in the blast furnace gas will be this is 900 and uh, this is 36 minus 36 so we'll get 864 kg so 864 kg of carbon is present in the form of co and co2 now how to do this we are dealing with gases so to convert this 864 kg into moles of gases we just divide it by the atomic weight of carbon that is nothing but 864 by 12 kg moles okay 
that means it will be equal to 72 kg mol because we are talking about the ratio of volumes not weights so this 72 kg mol is present in the form of co and co2 and its ratio is again in the form of 7 is to 3 so now we can easily calculate the amount of co and the amount of co2 present that means carbon present in co will be equal to what is the ratio 7 is to 3 that means total parts are 10 so 7 by 10 into what are the moles 72 it will be 50.4 kg mole are present in terms of co and similarly the carbon in co2 will be equal to same 3 by 10 into 72 you will be getting 21.6 kg mole okay this is the amount of carbon in co2 and this is the amount of carbon in co so now one more thing you have to uh, keep in mind from where this is forming from where this co and co2 are forming okay now we'll discuss from where the co and co2 are forming that is coming from the oxygen the carbon is reacting with oxygen to form co and co2 correct so this much amount of carbon is used here and this much amount of carbon is used here so by using the oxygen balance we can calculate how much is the oxygen required how much is the oxygen required from the air from the hot air coming from the tubers so from that we can calculate the air and from that we can calculate the nitrogen gas till here we have calculated there are this this part is 72 kg mole but this is not the overall composition of the or the volume of the blast furnace gas there is also nitrogen so to calculate the air we must do the oxygen balance from these equations so the two equations i'll write again these are the two equations now we'll do the oxygen balance what is this oxygen balance oxygen balance is nothing but the input oxygen should be equal to the output oxygen what is the input oxygen we are considering the major constituents only we are uh, neglecting the minor oxides that are present like SO2, L2O3 fine so oxygen coming from or from Fe2O3 in the sense plus O2 from air hot air that we are using these are the inputs and what is the output output is the whole oxygen we have discussed this the whole oxygen is converting into co or co2 okay so o2 in the bf gas how it is uh, bf gas in the sense this co and co2 it is oxygen is present in the form of co and co2 so we have, our aim is to calculate this now so oxygen in ore we can easily calculate this how to calculate the weight of ore is 1700 1700 kg into what is the percentage of uh, iron ore present that is 0 0.8 similarly now what is the oxygen that is uh, coming what is the oxygen that is coming from fe2o3 you have to call calculate that that is 16 into 3 by the total amount of fe2o3 correct the similar way how we took the weight fraction of iron the same way we are doing for this total is 160 this is the weight of oxygen in kg but we know this in terms of kg mole so here only we will do this in kg mole also divided by the o2 weight is 32 okay one more time i'll be explaining this 1700 is the weight of ore into 0 0.8 it, this is the weight of fe2o3 into this is the weight fra weight fraction of oxygen present in the fe2o3 so this is the whole amount of oxygen present that means this is the kg of oxygen present this much kg of oxygen is present in 
ore. Now we need we are converting this kg into kg mole. For that we I said we have to divide it by the molecular weight. Okay, so O2 has 32, so we divide it by 32. Okay, so this is the O2 that is present. This is the kg moles of oxygen present in the ore. Clear plus this O2 from air. Okay, will be equal to what will be the this one? How many moles will be there? If this, uh, what is the number of moles here? For CO, the number of moles are 50.4 kg moles. So the oxygen should be half of it, equal to half into 50.4. That means 50.4 is the kg mole of CO. So half of that is used as oxygen. Plus, similarly here, there is only one mole. So one into 21.6. Okay. From this, if you calculate the whole calculation, you will get this oxygen from air to be 34.05 kg mole. It's simple calculation. Just do take this to the other side and calculate. It will be 34.05 kg mole. Okay. So now from this, how to calculate nitrogen? We know in air, 21% is oxygen. Okay. So if 21% of air is this much 34.05, what is the amount of nitrogen? The remaining 79% is how much? This is nothing but 79 by 21 into 34.05. This is the amount of nitrogen present. Okay. So from the oxygen, we calculated nitrogen. We know 21% that is oxygen. So from that, we have calculated the 79% part. So, this will be equal to 128.09 kg mole. Okay. So, now what they asked? They asked the volume of BF gas. That means the sum of CO, CO2 and N2. So, what is the sum of these three? You know how much? CO2 plus CO plus N2. So, CO plus CO2, we know it is 72 kg mole and this is 128.09 kg mole. So, this will be equal to 200 kg mole. Approximately, it will be 200 kg mole. But, the options will be in meter cube. So, here you have to know one mole of gas is equal to 22.4 meter cube. It occupies 22.4 meter cube so to convert this it will be 200 into 22.4 this will be equal to 4480 meter cube okay this is how you must calculate the amount of blast furnace gas amount in the sense the volume of blast furnace gas okay so this is about the material balance i think i have calculated the major parts and I suggest you to refer a book in which there are five important models that you have to cover. And uh, if at all I have a PDF, I'll uh, leave it in the description. Okay, yes, uh, the Google Drive will be there in the description only. Google Drive link, you can find it on the name Numericals, Numericals of Extractive Metallurgy. In your extractive metallurgy folder you can find this and if you have the book the book that is best for this practice SK Datta and AB Lele okay if you have this book it is fine otherwise I took the numericals and made a PDF so you can find the link in the description below there are first five numerical problems are very important first five numericals under iron making okay this is very important so please go through this and uh, please keep supporting in this way itself so please provide or please hit the like button and do share with all your gate aspirants so thank you guys